Hello? Testing, testing, one, two, three. Okay. Let's see if we can get this to work the way that I want it to. Okay. So it looks like we're technically live, which is good. Um, I wouldn't say that I am proficient at streaming in the least, but I think we've got something worked up. But you're not here to hear me talk. You're here to see. I don't think so anyway. There's like one of you. Um, we're going to be taking a look at Unmatched from Restoration Games, the digital edition. Uh, I have it set up in the background here. If you are unfamiliar with Unmatched, um, it is a two-player skirmish game that has all kinds of heroes, all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, it's card-driven. You use these miniatures. Super cool. Um, let's see. I don't think so anyway. How my audio is. Um, we're going to be taking a look at Unmatched from Restoration Games, the digital edition. Uh, I have it set up. Okay, audio sounds okay on my end. If it, if you're watching this and the audio is not good for you, please let me know. I am keeping an eye on the comments. Um, but let's get let's get this up and running. So we're going to be taking a look at the digital version here. Let's get the screen. There we go. That's my background and. Let me know if the audio is, well, you know what? If the music's too loud on the game, just let me know. Uh, we're not gonna be doing a tutorial. I kinda walk you through exactly what is happening. Let me get my settings right here. Okay, so this is the obviously the title screen for Unmatched, the digital edition. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got here. Um, do new battles. So we can one, oh, one versus one. It does have two versus two. We can randomize the heroes. I will be doing AI easy because uh, as much as I do enjoy this game, I'm not very good at it. Um, but let's take a look at the heroes that are available, at least in this pre-release here. Uh, so Alice, King Arthur... Medusa. Now I know that Sinbad. I played. I played against Sinbad earlier. I could have sworn. Okay. No. Okay. All right. Well, let's see what we got here. Uh, let's go random, random here. And we'll jump right in. Very, very nice thematic music. Hopefully it's not too terribly loud on your end. Uh, yeah, we'll go random map. Yeah, see, I'm playing against Sinbad, so I don't know why I couldn't select that. There's probably something I am missing here, but I am going to be playing as Medusa, which is... Uh, pretty fun. So these are the cards that drive uh, the, the course of the game. And right off the bat, um, the thing that I like about Unmatched is that it sort of gives me a smaller taste of uh, Heroescape, which is a game that I really enjoyed, a skirmish game, but uh, it's much easier to set up, get playing, and uh, is actually available, unlike Heroescape at the moment. Um, like I said, the actual physical version is here. So this is about the size of most of the maps, at least some of the bigger maps, uh, some of the characters that you can play in the physical game as well. Uh, so let's jump right into this.
I'm drinking Mountain Dew Spark. I thought it was zero sugar, uh, but it's not, so it's really good. Um, it's a raspberry lemonade flavored. I originally had high ambitions of doing like a snack streaming channel uh, over a year ago because I found these, which I had bought for my snack stream that I never got off the ground. They've expired in April, but they're candy corn flavored red vines unopened. Place your bids. Okay, so starting off, I need to choose a starting space for my sidekick. And I have three remaining. Um, let's go one, two, three. Right like that, okay. The game does make you confirm everything. You can adjust some of the settings in the um, settings menu. Uh, so music, sound effects, combat speed. I'm actually going to speed that up. Um, yeah, that's fine with me. Okay. Oh, I'm being attacked right off the bat. Okay. So the porter, which is Sinbad's uh, sidekick, is attacking one of my sidekicks. Uh, and my sidekicks only have one hit point. So that's no good. Uh, let's see. We're going to faint, which is going to cancel any of the attacks done. So on your turn, what you can do in Unmatched is you can uh, you take two actions. Uh, you can, oh uh, boy, and you know what? I'm going to get the words wrong on this, the terminology. So hopefully no one from Restoration Games is watching this. But essentially you can move, which lets you draw a card. You can scheme or you can attack. Uh, everything other than moving basically is all card driven. Um, you have a certain speed that you can move, and you can move all of your uh, sidekicks as well. Anyway, all that being said, I am being attacked, uh, and so I'm going to defend. So I'm using Feint, which is a combo attack defend card. Um, also, it's going to cancel any effects on this opponent's card. So let's see. The uh, Sinbad's uh, pretty tricky with some of his stuff. So let's see what we got here. Yeah, see, after combat, he would get to draw two cards. This is going to cancel that out. So I did lose the battle. My Harpies only have one hit point. So that one's gone. But Sinbad's not going to get to draw two damage. Or two, two cards. You know what? I'm going to jump on Twitter real quick and just... go okay I lost the combat that's fine so it is my turn here choose opposing fighter in Medusa's zone to deal one damage so that's kind of a cool thing that Medusa can do go right there just kind of take a hit there now Sinbad's over here in order to win the game I have to I have to kill him. His, his porter's annoying, but it is what it is. You know, it's been a while since I've played as Medusa. I think I set these up wrong. I should have gummed up the porter. Anyway, uh, let's start by starting a maneuver, which lets me draw a card, and I can move Medusa, who has a movement of three. I'll go right here. How I want to leave the doors. We're going to leave it open so that my characters can get through there. I can move each of these fighters up to three spaces. So let's go here and here. That sounds good. Now I get to pick my second action. Let's see what we got. Regroup. And after combat, draw a card. Deal eight damage to the opposing fighter. There is no chance I'm going to win a combat with two damage. I mean, maybe. Let's give it a shot, right? Sinbad's got, like, super bad cards, and I win this. It's going to be pretty big. Nah, I didn't win. He gets to move Sinbad. Yeah, running away. Okay, end my turn. 
The game has you confirm a lot of stuff, but it is a very smooth system. And um, yeah, it's very clean. All right, defending. Let's see. After combat, your opponent discards a card, and it's a four. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Well, hello, knights around the table. Oh, look at that. I thought I was going to do okay. It's okay. I have to discard a card. I wish I had been Alice. We did random heroes, and I think I prefer playing Alice to Medusa. Uh, just because I, I don't play Medusa all that much. If you want to move her, okay. Yeah, let's let's move a little bit. Let's go here, here, and here. Let's close that door. That's good. Draw one combat. Yeah, I like that. Actually, we're going to have the attack come from Medusa. Yeah, well, I mean... Sorry, knights around the table. I, I thought this would do it for you, but I guess not. I mean, I put on my fancy shirt and everything. Well, I missed it. I just clicked to confirm. Did I win? Did I hurt him? It's not looking great. Okay. We're going to defend uh, with three, and I'm going to get to draw one card. I lose that. So Sinbad's going to move away again and hurt me. Hit me for one and leap away. Good for you, Sinbad. Uh, okay, Sinbad won the combat. combat. Yep, yep, yep. I'll take it, knights around the table. Um, yeah, normally these streams, I'm gonna have to put you. Um, I have to start charging for these streams. Okay, play an attack card. It's my turn. Sinbad keeps running away, and I keep running towards him. The problem is I don't have great cards to actually do anything about it. Uh, but let's go ahead. Oh, Medusa's ranged. That's my problem. Medusa's got a ranged abilities, and I'm playing like Alice, uh, who I played last time. Oh, well. Uh, no, I'm not going to boost. So I can boost my maneuver, um, which is something any of the characters can do. I can discard a card to move extra spaces, but I'm not going to do that. I want to attack. No, I want to actually attack. See, it helps to know the rules a little bit better than I do. So I'm playing like a melee character, which... Uh, isn't great. I did win the combat, so that's a plus. They get to draw a card. Uh, the controls are very intuitive. You can zoom in on stuff just by scrolling, at least if you're playing on PC. I'm not sure about other platforms because, honestly, I don't really have other platforms. All right, end my turn. Okay, let's, eh, why not, we'll dash. One of the cool things about the unmatched system is the things that happen during or after combat. These effects happen in a specific order. Uh, and so knowing the order of events is crucial, but also kind of a cool mechanic to an otherwise pretty simple, straightforward system. Um, okay. 
if I can move my fighter up to three three spaces. Uh oh. He's healing. I don't have great attack cards. Um, let's go ahead and do this since I just remembered that I can I can actually attack from further apart. I'm hoping for the guy who invented the drinking straw. Uh, which royalty free character do I? I mean. Winnie the Pooh is sort of the answer that people have been saying, and I understand that Winnie the Pooh has entered the public domain, but it's too n too near and dear to my heart to actually want to see. Uh, so not Winnie the Pooh. Jane Eyre and the founders of the Boy Scout of America would be uh, pretty cool. I don't know. I th I think there's there's some fun to be had with like innocent characters or less assuming historical figures like Jane Austen or something. Um, I don't know. I'm not like super into that. Like in, in high school, the idea of Abraham Lincoln, vampire hunter and pride and prejudice zombies um, was cool. It, it was sort of a novelty for me. So uh, that might seem like a treasure Island expansion would be kind of cool. Like a long John silver. Um, they already did Dracula. Dracula Dracula's uh, one of my all-time favorite books, so I was excited about that. Um, have they done Frankenstein's monster? They could do a lot of interesting, cool things with that. Um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna say a Treasure Island expansion, or or just somehow work in some of the Jules Verne stuff. Have they done Captain Nemo? I don't think Captain Nemo's been. I don't think Captain Nemo's a playable character. That'd be kind of cool, too. They could do a lot with that. It's a lot of the old sort of adventure fiction that I think uh, would fit right in with this. Uh, more cryptids, too. Like, if we could get... If the Jackalope could be a playable character, like an action, not just a sidekick to Bigfoot, or the Jersey Devil. i get a Loch Ness monster in there. I mean, they've got the dinosaurs from Jurassic Park already. All right. I'm distracted, but there's a lot that you can go. And that's why I like this. Like that was one of the things that I love so much about HeroScape was that it was, it was heroes from history, fantasy, sci-fi, legend, everything. And that's sort of another thing that I get sort of the feel here. It's not just the skirmish game that I miss from HeroScape, but it's that, that mix and match flavor uh, with the tactile elements to it, which I think is kind of cool. Um, and my turn. Oh, I should have ended my turn a while ago. Yeah, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea is, it's it's good from what I remember of it. I mean, I grew up with a Disney uh, film, which I, I still really enjoy, especially the uh, some of the songs in it. But the book itself is also pretty good. I need to brush up on my Jules Verne because uh, uh, most, most of the stories that I know, Jules Verne stories that I know are from um, visual media. And I know I, the books are free. I can get them at the library. I think I can read them online. Um, I just haven't done it. It would be kind of cool to see some video game implementation too. I mean, they've gotten some of the, you're probably not going to see some of those, those licenses on the digital version, but the possibilities there 
for for the physical version. I mean, we've got Marvel characters, uh, Jurassic Park characters. Could be cool. Anyway, Sinbad won the combat. I'm like loosely paying attention, and I've got a short lunch today too, so I better finish this up. Hounds of my Zeus. Okay, your turn. So I better just finish it up here. Just kidding. <laughs> Barely moving. Uh, what happened to all my harpies? All right, you move there. And that would be good. Okay, well, go ahead and do this. Oh, no. That's not what I wanted to do at all. I don't want to boost. I want to be done with that, and then I want to attack. Buffy versus Superman 64. <laughs> I want a um, Pac-Man versus Dance Dance Revolution set. I don't know how they do the DDR, but just the, the miniature is a dance machine, and it's got incredible movement speed. Uh, movie Charpy up to three space. I'm fine with where it's at. And my turn. It's not looking great for us. It doesn't help that I really blew it uh, in the first bit here and have been playing this character all wrong with the sidekicks. Um, oh, only one defense card. Uh, draw a card. Okay, sure. If they could get together with Ravensburger and sell decks for just the villainous characters because and then that way if you own the villainous games you can just use those pawns i'd be i'd be all about that that is that's right up my alley and that's the other thing i like about like about this is there's just such a huge possibility of what could be coming down the pipes okay i'll just shoot you there I want to get into the same zone because I want to be able to get some free shots in. Okay, I'm happy with that. Let's do this. Um, why can't I attack in? Oh, because I'm not actually in a connected space. Okay. Let's go here. All that good. Then do this and attack. Oh. Sinbad's not going to defend at all. Okay. Has to discard a card. Takes three damage. Nice. Sinbad's down to seven. Riches beyond compare. No, come back. Stop running away. Okay. Oh, that would have been good if I didn't have to move. Um, yeah, we're just going to keep focus firing on Sinbad here. Sinbad must not have very good cards right now. This is the second turn in a row he is not defended. I can move my combat. Okay. I don't want to move Medusa. I'm happy with that. Okay. I keep forgetting it asks, asks me to end my turn. I'm gonna keep
keep having you discard cards here. Is that going to be enough to tip it over? It is. Sinbad's going to knock one off. So every Voyage card that Sinbad has in his discard pile uh, is potentially a very bad thing for me. Oh, going to deal two more damage. Tricky guy. I'm in a weird spot in that I want to attack, but I need to move too. Actually, this works out. He moved away. Perfect. Unfortunately, because he moved away, I don't get a free attack at him, so I'll just do that. Uh, we're going to maneuver. can't get in range. Oh no, I can't hear. Mm, it's not, not a free shot to him though. Okay. Oh no, it is. Because I'm ranged. Uh, during combat you boost this attack. Absolutely, I would like to boost this attack. Good thing I did. This is very forgiving since I'm playing an easy AI. Uh, it probably would have been over and I would have lost at this point had it not been. All right, let's move. I don't want to go there, but I do want to be in range. Let's rethink this. At least with the um, against the AI, it lets me back up my moves, which is nice. Um, because I want to be able to do some of these deal two. Minutes. Oh, you know what? I'm going to back up again. Medusa's going to go here, which is going to put. Or in the same zone as Sinbad. I'm going to move the Harpy here to prevent his re easy retreat. And then I'm going to use this. Nope, not to boost my maneuver. I'm going to end my maneuver. Stare at Sinbad and hit him. Knock him down to one point of damage. Call that good. I have a short lunch today, so I'm almost done. I can't defend, okay. Good. It's okay, I can take three shots of damage. Now, it, let's see how far away Sinbad's gonna run. Up to three spaces. Yeah, saved himself there. If he hadn't moved, I would've gotten a free shot on him. Instead, do that. Okay, we're gonna move, go here, here. Oh good, I don't even have to fight him. Oh, nope, not boost. That's the other thing with this game is I have to remember, I have to end my action, because I have the option to boost and move further, but I don't want to discard that card, so I almost discarded the card I wanted to use as an attack. Go like that, and call it a win. Okay, that's what I got. That's about all the time I have for today. Uh, I want to do other streams like this in the future because um, this seemed easy enough to manage, not too difficult. Let's see. If you watch the channel at all, you know that I do full reviews, and so I will have upcoming full reviews of some Daryl Andrew, or sorry, some Daryl Chow games. Um, Reef Rescue being one, uh, Walk and Roll and the walk and roll expansion, the Korean wave. Uh, those are all coming up on the channel and I am excited to talk about all of those uh, in more detail. 
But for now, I have to head back to work. So thank you so much for watching, especially you nights around a table. Goodbye.